So yesterday I did my ham radio video and it went over very well, but I forgot something that is so cool and so important to talk about right now, software defined radio. And I wanna thank JCIMS, the YouTube commenter who uh, reminded me about it. This little guy right here can turn your computer into a radio receiver and a quite powerful one also, a software defined radio receiver. This uh, USB device has a particular chipset chip in it. It's the RTL2832U DVB-T chipset. Now, this device you'll see is marketed as something that can pull in HDTV channels and you can watch HDTV on your computer. That actually doesn't work in the US for some reason. I think the way we encode HDTV channels here, uh, it, it, it won't work. But it does turn your computer into a receiver that can receive a huge bandwidth of frequencies and your computer can then in turn decode the frequencies and, and do any kind of signal processing so that you can either hear the signal or decode digital data. It is a lot of fun. I've been using it to monitor ham frequencies so I can find out where the conversations are happening. I've been using it as a police scanner, listening to uh, and seeing what the NYPD's been doing in my neighborhood. Uh, you can also pull in uh, air traffic control. Uh, you can find all kinds of information. You can find all kinds of stuff going on. You can explore the electromagnetic spectrum, at least a part of it, here from your own computer. And I think that's pretty cool. So let me show you around a little bit. So the software I have open here is called GQRX. Uh, I'm using this because it works uh, on the Mac out of the box with this uh, particular tuner. I've got the tuner plugged into my USB port and I'm just gonna turn it on here. Uh, let me uh, turn up the squelch. The squelch will uh, turn off that the, the sound when there's no signal. There we go, okay. So we don't have to hear the, the static uh, when there's no signal coming through. Um, so I have got, the, this is the main frequency tuning. If this were a transmitter, this would be the, the frequency that I'm transmitting on. And then here would be an offset for uh, receiving because you may be transmitting and receiving on different uh, frequencies. In this case, however, I don't have a transmitter. So uh, when I'm making small fine adjustments here, I'm just changing the offset from what the transmit frequency is. So you can see here, this is what's going on on the spectrum right now. There's a lot of activity. I have this tuned to a hunk of spectrum that is uh, the where the NYPD's uh, uh, transmitters are, where their where their walkie-talkies are. So we can see activity here. This is what's going on right now on the spectrum, and this is a bit of a historical uh, look at what's going on the spectrum as it scrolls down. This is called the waterfall. So I can see over here. There's some uh, talking. Let's see what's going on. It's going to be on the corner. So let's see. Uh, you, you can bounce around here, find interesting conversations. Here we go. Here's one. Uh, 32056 and 105. Uh, what the middle initial could be? Possibly Oscar or Charlie. Charlie C. All right. Uh, so I, as I mentioned, we hold in this job. We have no units available. Let me uh, drop this down here. So I, I mentioned uh, that you can also just tune in channels, so like uh, FM stations, I think. So if I drop down to 100, uh, there's a station in here in New York City called 100.3. Uh, it was a Z100 or something. I, I, to be honest, I don't know. Um, 100, let's just, we, this is not so important that we get this just right. But if we change this to stereo FM, kind of get it right there. Let's bump up the gain again. Elders love to keep old pictures on the refrigerator for some reason. And this too. I know my mom and dad did. Hey, uh, let's uh, check. Uh, let's check over there with Bethany. What's up, Bethany? I was in the store the other day. So yeah, some you know morning zoo thing going on there. Whatever that is. Um, and then uh, th there's just all sorts of stuff going on on all these different channels. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can pull in a. There's some like weather broadcasts that happen. I think for. Uh, uh, boats, let's see, 132.45, I'm just uh, looking for anything I can find. I don't know what everything is. I'm no expert in this sort of stuff. Um, here we go, what's this? Let's turn up the gain. As of 8 a.m. at Eaton's Neck, temperature was 46 degrees. 
Wind was weather. at 12 miles an hour at Morgan's Point in Glen Cove. Temperature was 48 degrees. So that's what I've been doing with the SDR software. I've been having a great time with it. I think it's a lot of fun. It's it's something you can explore a bit. It's something that can you can learn from a little bit. And the investment was only $20, but it really opens up a huge part of the electromagnetic spectrum to explore. So that's really cool, really fun, and I think educational as well. So do check that out if you're at all interested in radio or ham radio and you're not ready to make a jump and make an investment or get your license. At least you can listen to a little bit what's going on. There are also some web-based SDRs out there that if you want to check those out, I'll put a link in the description if you're interested in that, uh, if you don't want to uh, get one of these guys right away. I'll have another video for tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for sharing, commenting, and liking these videos. I appreciate it a lot. Have a great day. Bye.